Residents of Angola continue to mourn the loss of four high school students. Investigators in Alabama are still looking for answers as they try to determine what caused that deadly crash. And a Kendallville woman will spend six years behind bars for numerous drug crimes. I'm Chuck Rowe. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Froggy 106.7 is all about variety. From pop to rock and even a little country. Mix it all up in a way to help you get through your workday. You've got the most variety on your radio. Froggy 106.7. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. As students at Angola High School continue to mourn the loss of four of their classmates, school administrators are doing all they can to help students and faculty members cope with the loss. We have about 12 MSD counselors and uh, members from ministries, local ministries, that have come in to help us. We've had some parents who have lost children come in and help us. Uh, we've had a parent who works at our local hospital and does grief counseling come in and, and be a real godsend. Uh, just an outpouring of, of help from, from several people. And at the end of this day, we will evaluate where we're at, what we need to do to get ready for tomorrow, uh, look at the students who are hurting the most, our staff members who are hurting the most, and assess uh, where we're at and what we need to plan for. Alex Bauer, Riley Zimmer, Matt Rowe, and Evan Weaver were driving home this past weekend from spring break when another car veered into their lane from the opposite side of the highway, killing all four of the boys. The driver of that other car also died in the crash. As the community continues to grieve, a calling will be held on Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. at Trine University. The high school has also planned a remembrance on Thursday afternoon for students and members of the boys' families. The city of Angola has hung purple and gold ribbons around the city's public square as a way of honoring the four boys. Meanwhile, officials in Alabama continue to investigate that fatal crash. It happened on I-65 just south of Montgomery, Alabama. There's some conflicting information now about whether the rain was a factor into the accident or not. Meanwhile, Alabama State Police say there was heavy rain and severe weather in that area at the time of the crash, but a witness to the tragedy said it was just beginning to sprinkle. One eyewitness said that the minivan being driven by 21-year-old Neil McNellis of Troy, Alabama, just veered off the road without any noticeable attempt to avoid the collision that followed. State troopers in Alabama are still investigating that crash. And sentencing was held yesterday in the case against a Kendallville woman who was facing numerous drug charges. 42-year-old Rosemary Schaefer received a six-year sentence for meth possession within 1,000 feet of a public park. Additional charges against Schaefer, including meth dealing and possession of marijuana, were dropped as part of the plea deal. There were a number of other charges that were also dropped as part of that deal with the court. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, you can email us at HoosierHioNews at gmail.com. I'm Chuck Rowe. Have a good day.